So here, here's what I'm talking about. If you head up here and you start flattening this, you start clearing it out, dang, do you have a cool spot. What is going on guys, Unite the Clans here, back in yo life, with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I'm not sure what this place looked like the last time you came through, but I've been doing some work around here. I really can't remember where we were at the last time I recorded, so I'll show you. I pulled our big Bronto up. He keeps shifting around. Usually this whole platform's a little lower, and I can just hop right up there, which is kind of cool. Don't fall down the cliff. Yeah, and then the base. I've been doing some work here. I uh, made this top section stone, which looks kind of cool above the wood. Uh, and I made it just in this sort of the eaves of the house, which is neat. We did a big stone foundation around the whole thing. And I'll show you the inside. I, I just did this. I just put a table, mortar, and pestle. i uh, got a little bit of storage here. And then campfire. And I did put a hatch above the campfire into the attic. Uh, with Felris right there, offline at the moment. Uh... I did put a hatch which leads up into this upstairs. Now I've made this two separate rooms as it stands now so that we can each have a spot to hang out. Neither of them are done. If I were me, I'd take this side, I'll put a sleeping bag up here. I'd have access, not access, but can't even get down there to be honest, but you'd have a little firelight coming up and then it opens up onto the roof, which is cool. Put some chairs up here eventually, who knows, maybe some tiki torches. And then if you come over the top, you end up on Felris' side where there is another room and basically the same setup um yeah it's looking good i mean i'm starting to like the looks of this place and you'll see out there i've tamed a parasaur it's actually like the fourth parasaur i've tamed so far uh on this server i tamed one mate fifth i tamed one named wiley and then i lost him and i think i made a wiley too who got killed like immediately and then I found two that were mates, and I tamed them both. One for me, one for Felris, and I gave one a U name for Unite the Clans, the other an F name for Felris, and uh, I forget what they were, Ursula and Francine, and then I wrote Ursula off into the night, and uh, and uh, she got killed, and I had to get back. It was nighttime, it was really far from the base, and I wanted to go get all my stuff, so I took Francine, I rode her into battle, I hopped off her to go get my stuff, and then... I guess I didn't have her set to follow, and a thing popped up on my screen. Your, your parasaur has been killed by a spitter, which sucks. Uh, Bort, Bort's been doing some work. He's a tank now, level 22. And those first two parasaurs, the, or those last two parasaurs, the mated pair, they were um, low level. So I went and tamed a much higher level one this time, and I think if I've done it right while doing the intro to this episode, we, yes, we can now make a saddle. How right did I do it? I collected more fiber than we needed. So we're going to make a saddle. We'll get her uh, geared up. And I think what we're going to do... I mean, I opened this episode talking about this build. I'm having fun building here. But I feel a little constrained by the environment. I built uh, in episode 3, I built that cottage up on the cliffside overlooking the lake. And I think, you know, episode 2 we tamed a trike. In this one, I'm, I'm, I didn't do the taming on, uh, on screen. Equip saddle. Let's throw this saddle on there. And by the way, I go shirtless whenever possible. Just looking particularly boss out here. Looking ripped. And when you're riding a parasaur, nothing better than doing it bare-chested with a cowboy hat. <laughs> In leather pants. I don't know what kind of a character I've got going on, but he's real badass. Uh, so we got this parasaur. So what I'm thinking is let's talk about a bigger build. I think I have something grand in me that is by far the best building i've ever made and obviously felris uh, was around to help with a bunch of it um but I, I want a big flat area to do some building now this i like this and it, eventually we should have a building on this uh sort of cliff as well but uh i, I think i'd run into the same issues it's really slopey and eventually you're going to be limited by uh, what you can build. Hey, there's a little over raptor. Those are cool. Uh, so I have a couple areas in mind. I'll see now that I have a, a good parasaur. Parasaurs in this game, uh, for those of you that don't play it and just watch, they're sort of a good mid-range 
uh, transport. They have incredible stamina. Like, I'm sprinting right now. It's not crazy fast, but they can do it for a long time. They're marathon runners, basically. See, that's the regular speed. It's not doable. But the good news is you can almost... Oh, this, yeah. You can almost endlessly sprint if you uh, play your cards right. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is see if I can't do a little location scouting. It's all about location, right? Location, location, location. If we're going to build something big, and uh, I think this series will mostly be building episodes. That suits my personality. Then I'm going to need a great spot to do it. I actually, to be honest, I have a bit of a vision right now of um, of almost making a whole village. I don't know how well that would work out, but doing, you know, in arc what I've done in Minecraft in the past. Um, yeah, uh, why don't... Oh, yeah, take a poop. Why don't you give me a few minutes, guys? I'm going to travel around, see if I can't see a good spot. And uh, I will come right back with you. Oh, there's another itchy. Guys, I tried to record this episode a minute ago, and I was going to make it an Ichiosaur recording episode, and I started feeding and taming one, and then he... Hmm. Yeah. And then he died. I don't know what happened, whether it was a... You know, I don't have enough meat to be messing with an Itchy right now. And they take forever to get tame. So I'm going to keep looking around. And this is the first of a couple spots I've really been thinking about for a big build. Um, it's... Oh, oh, there's a little Scorpion Trike fight up there. I think the Trike should win that. You never know, though. So we'll keep a keep an extra eye on that. But this is a fairly... Actually, this is steeper than I thought. It's a fairly flat area. Fairly. And it leads up on into what, well, you know, it's not really a trail, but it leads up into some lands up here. Like, you could really clear these areas out. You can get rid of most of the trees. You can break down the rocks. And you can do a decent amount of building up here. But I have a better spot when I'm picturing one big, sort of one big building. A village is, is fine, and, you, you know, this might be a good spot for that. But with one big building, what you want is a fantastic view and with our first build the house that i was just showing you guys i think we did that we picked one of the most picturesque spots sort of the northwest corner of the map there's a scorpion and the spitter and the good news is we have tremendous stamina so we'll just kind of keep going and i think we can probably outrun a scorp without a whole lot of trouble we'll find out at some point here i don't know i'm just going to keep my, my the pedal to the metal keep my foot on the gas and we'll, we'll uh, take ourselves down this beach. Now, there's an Argentavis. I don't want to mess with them. And I'm not sure I could really outrun them. Oh, but there's trikes in the area. Trikes would back you up against an Argentavis unless... Oh, yeah. Good. Scorpion chasing me and Argentavis dive bombing. Okay, if he's landing, it means he's not particularly hungry, as far as I remember. If they're walking around, they're probably not your enemy. So let's just keep moseying. Oh, a bunch of compies. Yep, yeah, F ton of compies. And then what's going on up here? That's a pterodactyl and an overraptor, maybe? Yeah, this uh, we're headed for the area that I want to go. I basically want to take this beach as far as you can take this beach. Um, and then get up on the cliffs above it. Are we being followed still? Yeah, yeah, there's still compies on our tail. So let's... Uh, Let's keep moving. This guy out here has got a cool raft. It's pretty slick. I uh, swam out there with my last Parasaur. Well, one of my last Parasaurs. I think it was Ursula. I can't remember. But we swam deep out there and uh, went and checked it out. You can't really get into it. I think it's all locked up. But yeah, this is the area. Now, this spot isn't anything special. But once this beach ends and you're up on these cliffs, you have cliffs that go right over the water. Of course, we pick a foggy day to come out and location scout out here, right? Eh? I mean, like, this stamina is unbelievable on this beast. I'm glad. I'm glad we got one that can just go all day, all night. Eventually, when I have a raptor, I'm sure I'll be riding that instead. But I really haven't gotten the confidence to take on taming one. When I do, I'll try and do it on screen uh, for you guys. Oh, level up. Is that for me or for this beast? So here. Here's what I'm talking about. If you head up here and you start flattening this, you start clearing it out, dang, do you have a cool spot. Now, it's kind of shallow. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of shallow, but uh, I don't know. Why don't, yeah, why don't I, I see about starting to do some clearing out here? And uh, I will come back to you guys in a minute. Th 
This is my first time actually trying to clear a big chunk of land with a parasaur. And to be honest, it actually went pretty well. The, the, we took down all the small trees. I left this big one because I can see me uh, having, you know, sort of an idea for that. I, uh, I don't know if that sentence made sense. Meaning I can build around it maybe or make it part of a, a garden or a, sort of a... What do you call that area in the middle of a house where you're open to the sun? There's a word for it. Sort of like an atrium? I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. But like a courtyard, something like that. You could make this tree part of it. Um, now, these guys are different than the trikes in that, one, they can go all day. I just cleared this whole area sprinting and stamina is barely affected. Um, but they're different in that they don't harvest berries like the uh, trikes do. So uh, I'm going to have to go around solo and do it but stamina wise like Bort is a hell of a hell of a fighter and as I mentioned he was a tank but he we would have still be in the middle of this if it was him just because he gets so tired doing the the resource gathering uh, but this guy it you know what the difference now I grew up my dad was a landscaper and a construction uh, uh, like a landscape architect and he did construction all that kind of stuff now I grew up I think by the age of two I could drive a tractor by the age of four, I could drive an excavator, which is the kind with, uh, you know, a cab on top. It always looks a little top heavy, a couple of tracks on the bottom and the big long digger arm on the front. That's what a parasaur feels like. The trike, that's a bulldozer, more or less, is a bulldozer or a, a sort of steamroller type setup. Uh, but with the parasaur, when you're running around chopping down trees, it feels like you're in the excavator. You know, you're not crazy maneuverable, you're turning around well, I guess excavators are actually crazy maneuverable because they can just literally turn on a dime because they have tracks. Anyway, my point is it, does, it feels a little bit like that. You kind of have to stay in one spot and whack at the tree, but if you're effective, you can take it down. Um, so the, uh, this is one potential area for a build. Now, the more that I look at it, the more I realize it isn't, isn't as big a space as I thought it might be. I'm going to end up with so many berries by the end of this. It's silly. But uh, I think I think it could be the site of a pretty decent build for us. Um, I think the, the one that really changed my view on Ark, like when I've played survival games in the past, and honestly, when I first started playing Minecraft, you just built something that was practical, but not necessarily pretty. And as I've kind of uh, played more Minecraft, obviously, I do a lot of builds that are just aesthetics um, and not just for practice and when i first started playing this game and i think when everyone did they just did something practical and i think to be honest i think that's what felrus wanted to do with our base too we just kind of built a little square i added the you know different levels different textures on it and uh uh big arch roof all that kind of stuff so i think what people usually do is they just build a box a two by two box with or a four by four box and they just put it up but I had Corallus, who is an amazing Minecraft builder, probably one of the most well-known builders from the Minecraft Let's Players. Uh, I saw him when he was playing Ark. Now, this is late last summer or last fall when the game was new, or totally brand new. I'm not sure if Corallus has been playing it since, but I saw him do a build at the Hidden Lake that just blew my mind. I was like, first of all, I was playing on a hard setting where leveling up to the point where you can unlock all those engrams from making really interesting looking buildings i hadn't even gotten there i had barely gotten to stone foundations and that sort of thing after making 20 episodes i'm sort of at the same level of xp as i was you know 10 15 episodes into my last let's play series of this uh so you know i was behind the eight ball in that sense and gathering resources takes a long time too when you're playing totally vanilla um so I, I hadn't even thought about building buildings like Corallus's, but now that we're in a situation where we have access to, uh, you know, uh, a ton of resources, and I've got the XP already unlocked to build most of the uh, most of the stone and the wood uh, building pieces, I'm thinking about doing a big build, and I want a big house. I'm more that I look at it, this tree is not going to be in the best spot, but I won't take it down until I have to. It would be neat to have a big tree in the middle of your house, I'll admit that. Um, and the great thing about uh, this is you can sort of build and, and explore your explore the image you have in your head for your build as you go. You can mess around with materials and textures, and I think 
over the course of a few episodes, I'm probably going to be doing that. I have uh, a rough idea of a build in mind, but really, this game is so about the environment that you kind of need to taper your plans as you build, because um, the environment is going to throw a monkey wrench at you every once in a while. If I clear out around this, I'm going to see how it looks to... What? Oh. Okay. Right. Cool. Uh, so look at what we've done. Cleared off a pretty big space for me and my as yet unnamed Parasaur because I don't want to get attached. Once I name it Paul, is it a dude? I can't remember. I think it's a girl. It's a male. Once I name it Paul the Parasaur, I'm going to suddenly be attached to it. And then when it dies and I lose it and uh, I'm, I'm, I, I won't be so hard when he's gone. But if you have a name, feel free to suggest one. I already named a Spitter after one of your suggestions. Somebody wanted to call a spitter these nuts, so I did it. That's how easy it is to get involved in this series, guys. Just make a suggestion, and I will probably do it. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. Coming at you from the future building site of, uh, of my mansion. We're going to build something absolutely fantastic up on this ridge. And I, I can't wait. Uh, this is going to be a fun series, and I really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. Let's go selfie cam. Geeks, I will see you in the next one. Oh, okay, well there's a boar. Uh, we're eating well tonight, guys. We are gonna eat well, we're gonna be eating boar. It's gonna be tremendous. So, I just made this spike trap. Let's set it up. I am just about ready to try and convince a boar to walk into this trap that I've set. And I'll start by, uh, by just luring him out. Hey, fatty, hey, big boy. Come show me what you're made of. Give me a piece of that. Give me a piece. Hey, you bacon-looking bastard. Follow me. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. That was bloody, and I got way too loud. 